We are going to talk some math today. You guys know math is not my favorite, but I really feel the need to discuss with you how it is super possible to potentially double your income. You know, I don't know what you're currently making, but you can make $36,000 a year from five to 10 listings a day. And so if you're not currently making that kind of money, this is a great video for you to watch. But even if you are and you're looking to take that up a notch to $50,000 or $100,000 or wherever you're looking to go with your reselling business, you can take these same principles that we're gonna talk about here and extrapolate them out, apply them to the situation that works for you. I know that many of us do not enjoy math, but as business owners and as people looking to make money online by selling items on the interwebs on Poshmark, you know, there's a little bit of math that needs to go along with your life. And so this is about as complicated as it gets for me, but I tried to make it really super easy. So let's go with me on the crazy train today and uh, talk about some reseller math that I think can really help you zero in on the money you want to make, where you're currently at, and how to get where you want to go. So I think it's 100% doable to make $36,000 on five to 10 listings a day. I've done it, I've done more than that, and I can see how it's very possible now. I did not see it when I was a beginner. When I was a beginner, I really was focused on what brands and this and that and what other people were doing and what's selling, and I was kind of very focused on out there, what's happening out there and how could I bring that into me? And this, I think, is very much focused and what I kind of do now is focus on what am I doing? What can I do? What could I do better? What can I improve upon so that I can get where I wanna go? And I'm less concerned about what is going on out there and I'm more concerned about my consistency, my production, my research, my solds. And in the beginning, you do need to look to others because you don't have any of that. But as you kind of work through it, I think this math here will show you that really you have all of the answers and you just need to do the things. So let's dive in. If you're looking to step up your Poshmark side hustle or just test drive what it would take to be a full-time reseller, this is gonna be the math, the math lesson for you. So how can we go from potentially $18,000 a year and we'll, I'll show you like what we need to assume. So, cause this is potentially doubling your income. So if you are currently selling about $18,000 a year on Poshmark, how can you go from that to $36,000 with keeping five to 10 listings a day? So we need to make some assumptions. First, we need to assume that you actually list consistently five to 10 listings a day. I am not talking to you if you are saying, well, I list five listings a day most days, except for the days that I have a headache, not on Tuesdays, if the Patriots are playing or whatever, you know, I don't know, whatever you've got, go if you have something on Netflix, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> if you list consistently five to 10 listings a day, this can apply to you. If you're not consistent, go back to square one and you need to figure out ways to get consistent. And you need help with that. You may want to consider a coaching call with me, which I offer and you can get the link down below to my academy. Or let me know that you need consistency help and maybe I will try to think about ways to get consistent but and do a video on it. But it's really like, you just need to do it. You need to do the work. You need to put up the listings. They need to go up all the time. That's how the money gets made. That's the, the, the tough love for me. So if you actually list consistently five to 10 listings a day, we're assuming that you're doing that. And if you're making $18,000 a year, so again, we're having a starting place, that would mean that your average sales price is about 15 to $20 per item. So do you mostly sell items for 15 to $20? And that you have about a 30% sell through rate. So if I'm listing 10 a day, maybe I'm selling three on most days. If I'm listing five a day, maybe I'm having one sale, one to two sales most days. So that's kind of how I calculate sell through rate. I know there are other ways and people do it on a monthly basis or whatever. I like to keep it simple. And so if I list 10, I wanna sell three. That's 30%. That's how I do it. So you're listing five to 10 a day, Average sales price is 15 to $20 a day. You've got a 30% sell through rate and you're selling about one to three a day. 
So that should equate to about $15 to $60 in sales per day. And if you do that times, so if you do $50 a day, so that's in between, if you do $50 a day times 365 days, you're at $18,250 per year. So I'm making the assumption that you're a person that is in this place. You're making 18,000 a year based on the numbers that I just said. So that's where we're starting. If you wanna double your money without doing any more work, this is what we're going to do. So now our goal is to get to $36,000. We need to be hitting these targets to make it happen. We need to keep our five to 10 listings per day. You need to be at a $35 ASP. You can keep your 30% sell through rate. You can keep having one to three sales per day, but that's gonna translate into more money because you raised your ASP. So now you're at $35 to $105 per day. So let's assume that it averages out to $100 per day. Now you're at $36,500 per year. So I know that that really oversimplified it. I have a couple more things to say so that we can make this more doable for you. But the math on doubling your income wherever you start to wherever you wanna go does follow this. These are the ways you make it happen. You consistently do a number of listings, you have an average sales price, you have average sales per day, you have a certain kind of sell-through rate, certain percent sell-through rate, and that's how you figure out where you are. And so then if you wanna know where you're going, you just move one of those levers. And so that's what we're gonna talk about. So this is a really reasonable sales goal to hit with that kind of production. Okay, we're not saying you're gonna make $100,000 off of five to 10 listings a day. That ASP or that sell-through rate would need to be really, really high. This is manageable, this is doable. There's a few, thing, a few things I think that you need in order to hit these goals because it's not just about the listing and not just about the ASP, like there's actual qualitative things that need to kind of go into it. So. One of the things I think that you need in order to hit these goals is Posher VA. And you know, this is a tool. This is how the sausage gets made. This is how the donuts get made. And so I can't run my business and do all the things that need to get done in my business to make the sales that I want without Posher VA unless I want to be chained to my phone all the live long day. And I don't, I have a little guy, I have other things that I do, like make content for you. And so I cannot be chained to my phone all day long, sending all the offers, you know, doing all the listings and sharing all the items and doing all the things. I have tools and reselling services that help me and Posture VA is one of them. So use my discount link down below to go ahead and you know get 20% off your Posture VA. It's off your first payment, which I recently realized. So if you sign up for a year, cause you've heard us all talking about Posture VA and you're like, okay, I'm ready to do it. I might as well sign up for the year. You get the savings of having the one year price you also get 20% off of that first payment. So you're getting the bigger discount by signing up for a year on your first one, just saying. So you need Posture VA because that's gonna make all the things happen without you. Even though you may not be cross posting, I do really like having Vendu even as just a Poshmark seller. And the reason for that is because relisting and delisting and relisting is a really crucial part of my Poshmark success. It's kind of part of my action plan. And you can do it in Poshmark for free, but it's very manual. It takes a long time and it's not fun. And you can mess up your listings because it adds copy and it truncates your title and it like does all this nonsense. So when you do the delisting and relisting in Vendu, it's literally two clicks. Like it's that fast. <laughs> and if you do it in bulk, it's even faster and you can walk away from your computer, go snuggle your dog, come back, and you just delisted and relisted 10 items, which is awesome. So I think that those two tools, Posture VA and Vendu, which I also have a discount code down below, both of those are really critical to running a business that can do these kinds of numbers without you being in the business doing these kinds of numbers. So I think that that's an important point and wanted to bring that up to you is that you probably could make $36,000 a year 
doing all of this manually by yourself, but you would be working a lot more than I do because I don't do any of it myself. So wouldn't you want to make $36,000 not doing all of that work? And I actually make more than that. So I think that it's a matter of making those kinds of choices. Anyway, enough of that. The next thing that I think you really need is $50 items. And I have talked about this on my channel in lots of different ways raising your ASP. I wish I had figured this out sooner. Like there are lots of videos I've done where I've kind of touched on the topic of if you can list items for $50, you can most often make an average sales price of $35. And that is way better than the opposite or where we assumed we started at making $18,000 because your ASP is 15 to 20. Well, if you list an item for $50, what's the likelihood you're gonna sell it for 15 to 20? I mean, you could take that offer, but you don't have to. You take the $35 offer, you sell it for 30 or whatever. And so for me, if the items that you're putting in your Poshmark closet are $50 listing price, you have a better chance to end up at $35. And I think that's a really big part of making this kind of money. And I know you guys are going to say then, Rebecca, I can't get $50 items. And I know, and I've made videos addressing that. So I think that you just need to be open to the different creative sourcing strategies. I have a video about that. I have videos about pricing higher and having a pricing formula and how you can make that happen with similar items. So I think that I've given a lot of tools to how to find these $50 items and what to do with those $50 items. So be on the lookout for that stuff. But for the purpose of this video, that's basically about math and how do you double that money? How you do it is by getting those better items that you can list for 50 with an average sales price of 35. That is a big part of this. Now, you can make $36,000 with lower value items, but you're gonna have to sell more. So your sell-through rate has to go up or your listings have to go up and you're gonna have to work harder. So that's the other point is many people wanna make $100,000 a year. They wanna make $50,000 a year. They want to replace their old income and become full-time sellers. I love that, I get that, I want that for you. But you also have to live in the reality that if you want to make that kind of money, you need to do the things that make that kind of money, not the things that you've been doing that don't make that kind of money. <laughs> and I know that that might be a tough pill to swallow, but you can't grow unless you grow. You can't change unless you change. And so if you want to increase and double your money wherever you're starting to wherever you're ending, you have to do the things to get there. My way isn't the only way, but it's a way and that's the way that I'm showing you. So again, you could totally not listen to me, <laughs> do it however you want, but if you have lower value items, you're gonna be working a lot harder. And I didn't get there when I had lower value items. So that's coming from a little bit of personal experience. So um, the other thing, and sorry, I'm looking at the notes, but when it's math, I need the notes. In the example shown, raising your ASP alone will double your sales without working anymore. Let's just kind of like sink into that because you only changed one thing. The kind of items that you sell, the listing price, therefore your ASP, that's the only thing you had to change and you will automatically double your money without working any differently. That's wonderful. Now, I put here, remember, less new items, more relisting old items, that's gonna help you sell what you have. So if you have a lot of items and your sell-through rate is not so good, do less new items, do more relisting of items, that will help get your sell-through rate up and help you sell what you have. So that's something that you can do. Better keywords, better listings, more sharing, that also helps you sell more of what you have. So that can help you raise your sell-through rate a little bit higher. Maybe you're not at 30% sell-through rate. Maybe you're at 50% sell-through rate like I am. That's great. And that's kind of where you want to be, in my opinion. And so if you're selling more of what you list, you could list less and make the same money. Or you could make more money and list the same amount and sell more of it. So like I said, there's lots of levers that you can pull, but if you do less new and more relisting or better keywords and more sharing, all of those things will help you with your sell-through rate. So I think that's important. The last part is 
If you're already making more than $36,000 and want to make even more than that, then you just need to tinker with these three levers. So you have ASP, you have the number of listings that you do per day, and you have your sell-through rate. Those are the three things that you can monkey around with to change the outcome, which is the money that you make. So if you sell more of what you have and keep everything else the same, you make more money. If you raise your ASP and keep everything else the same, you make more money. If you do more listings per day and you keep everything the same, you make more money. But for me, if you list more, that means I'm buying more, photographing more, listing more, doing more things, storing more. So for me, I did not like that plan. I wanted to keep the same amount of five to 10 listings a day. Sometimes now I'm more at 15, but I'm trying to make more than, you know, 36,000. So I did not like the raise your number of listings lever. That wasn't good for me. And sell-through rate, while I do a lot of things to increase my sell-through rate, it's kind of after you do those things, as long as you're doing all the right things, after that, it's kind of out of your control. Like you can't know if sharing today, sending the offers today, doing my shoppers, relisting and delisting, all the different things, I can't know that that's gonna result in more sales. It should, that's what usually happens over time, those are the right things to be doing, but I don't know that it's gonna increase my sell-through rate. What I felt was the easiest way to control the outcome was to raise my ASP because I could control that. I can control what I buy and what I put in my store. And if it's so much higher than the average that I want, then I have no choice but to hit at the average. So I'm not saying I'm listing $35 items so that I can have an average sales price of $35 items because if you list it at 35, you're gonna have a $20 average sales price. So if I list it at 50, then I automatically, you know, kind of automatically have a $35 ASP. And I felt that that was the easiest way to double the income. So that's the strategy that I am most a proponent of is raise the level of your items, raise that ASP, everything else stays even, you just make more money by default. Now, if you raised your ASP, also raised your sell-through rate, and also raised your production, you would exponentially increase the amount of money that you're gonna make. You could go way more than $36,000 by increasing all three. So those are the levers that you have control of. Listing consistently and how many you list, the kinds of items that you list, and how much they're worth and what they end up selling for, and that sell-through rate. That is what is within your control. You can't worry about what Poshmark's gonna do. You can't worry about summer slowdown. You can't worry about live sales. You can't worry about any of that stuff. Do what you can do. Control what you can control. And after that, leave it to the reseller gods. But I think that it will work out just fine for you. And I am here to help you every step of the way. I encourage you if you need more one-on-one -on -one attention to check out the link down below to my academy so you can get some coaching with me. I would love to chat with you and help you out. But also I have lots of free resources down available in the description below and then all of my courses and digital downloads in the academy as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!